Hi friends, can you guess what today is? It's the one year anniversary of Storytime with Gia. What an exciting virtual road it has been. I would like to take the time and thank all educators, staff, student families, and schools for all of the love and support and for welcoming my virtual program with open arms. When the pandemic struck, I knew it was time to take the initiative and continue making my impact from the comfort of my own home. That's when Storytime with Gia started. It started off as a simple concept, zooming into homes and promoting and sharing the gift of reading and literacy, and now has evolved into a program that has absolutely soared across the state of Connecticut. From being named a WTNH News 8's Wednesday Warrior to virtually appearing in multiple classrooms per week, I'm so excited and honored that I'm able to share my efforts with Storytime with Gia with you. Well, this week we introduce you to a warrior who believes in the power of reading. She did not let the pandemic hold her back from connecting with kids. When you live in a flock of that many birds, you've got to communicate, but not with words. There's just something so special about reading a story aloud to children. I think the gift of reading, it's so important. When the pandemic first hit, so did Storytime with Gia. Hello friends, a joy and love for service at such a young age. So that's why Storytime with Gia formulated. And making my impact from home was really important to me because the ability to be out in the community had been stopped. Welcome back friends to this week's edition. 17 year old Gia Iwanek of North Haven virtually joins classrooms all across Connecticut and reads to students. As a little girl, I was so excited when special guest readers came into my class, so I'm glad that I get to provide that opportunity to kids as well. They stop, they gawk, they gaze, they stare. I actually got an email from a few of the teachers whose classrooms I visited last week, and they said that the kids were so engaged. Outside of schools, kids can catch Gia reading on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Zoom. They were so happy that I was able to share a story with them, but also get to talk with them and form a connection with them where they got to share a little bit about themselves, set some goals. This time provided a lot of change for kids at so quick, so I believe that me being there as an opportunity for them to speak really helped them. And in the spirit of giving, the holidays are my favorite time of the year. She recently launched Home for the Holidays, Sunday Stories with Gia. With a bang and a bash and a crunch and a crash. Where she goes down memory lane and reads her favorite childhood holiday books on social media. We'll be talking turkey, gobble gobble. Spoken like a true warrior, Gia believes we should all do more today than you did yesterday. Thanks for joining. See you soon. Now, you may have seen a crown in some of Gia's videos there. That's because she is also Miss North Haven's outstanding teen, so congrats to her. Gia said the kids love seeing her crown because they think she's a real-life princess. To find out how you can tune in to Storytime with Gia, head on over to WTNH. Giving the gift of knowledge, a North Haven teen taking her love of reading and sharing it with others. Gia Iwanek says there's nothing like picking up a good book, and during the pandemic, with sports canceled and social distancing in place, so many kids are hungry, looking for things to do. That's why she spends her time sharing some of her favorite books with them virtually. As a little girl, I was so excited when special guest readers came into my class, so I'm glad that I get to provide that opportunity to kids as well. Gia says right now she's cracking open some of her favorite childhood holiday books and reading them to kids of all ages. You can tune in to Good Morning Connecticut tomorrow morning at 6 to find out how your little one can join in on the fun. News 8's Celeste Taglia will introduce us to this week's Wednesday's Warrior tomorrow morning.